Welcome to my channel, Not Delusion. This opinion is from the public information that is available online. As always, do your own research. And if you know something else that I haven't included in this video, please leave them in the comments below. Sam is an admitted narcissist. And he's well known with a large following. He's written books and has done a lot of interviews and contributed a lot to the narcissistic personality disorder community. He was really good friends with Richard Grannon, who has his own channel. Both of them have personal disputes. Sam posted a couple of days ago, over the past two weeks, Richard Grannon has been filing dozens of bogus copyright takedown claims and content removal requests on all my YouTube channels in an attempt to terminate my online presence. This is why I haven't been posting new content for weeks now. I reached out to Richard Grannon multiple times, but he refused to meaningfully respond to any of my attempts to communicate with him. Backman posted images from his YouTube channel of all the various copyright strikes and that his account is on hold. Their dispute is about something other than copyright strikes that Richard Grannon has filed against Sam Vaknin's YouTube channel. Sam Vaknin is claiming that they both have written permission from each other to both be able to post the mutual videos that they both appeared in on their own channels. Richard Grannon is stating that he paid for all of the filming, so he holds the copyright. But in any case, Richard filed the copyright strikes against Sam Vaknin's channel. And YouTube doesn't ask for proof. So this is ongoing. And hopefully the two clear it up. And YouTube has a better system of how to handle copyright strikes. So Sam cannot access his own channel nor his videos now because he has too many copyright strikes. It's unfortunate because I do believe in free speech and Sam shouldn't have his life's work taken down. Even though I don't agree with Sam on some issues. In my experience, Sam Vaknin is a misogynist. He talks about never having sex with his partner and how he is a cerebral narcissist and how his partner has to go and seek out affairs. And she talks to men right in front of them and picks up men and goes off with other men right in front of Sam. Those are his descriptions. So from that, he makes statements that 
narcissist only dates only partner with women that are sluts and prostitutes and whores and stupid. Richard Brennan had Sam sign documents stating that he could own the copyright to the videos. So if Sam was smart, he would have gotten Richard's signature at the same time to be able to post the videos on his channel. So now he has 35 copyright strikes on his channel over personal issues. Richard and Sam are arguing about women. How Sam alleges that Richard abuses or mistreats women that he knows that his YouTube followers write to him. He alleges that his YouTube followers write to him and inform him about Richard Grannon and how he is abusing them. There is a Facebook page or private group on Facebook called Victims of Richard Grannon, which Sam posted about publicly. Richard must have decided to file all the copyright strikes on Sam's channel. I make comments to Sam, and he hides my comments. Sam claimed that narcissists mother their significant others. He said that on a video on his channel, which I know for a fact is not true. Why is he saying things that are contradicting what he already readily says? Narcissists have stunted development, that narcissists are babies. He knows that. So he turns around and he says, Narcissists mother or father their significant other. I called him out on it. And he hides the comments on his channel. Narcissists are big babies. I know that from my experience. He stated that narcissists parent their significant other. Who's he kidding? Because he's a narcissist. This is a comment on Facebook. I'm quoting, it's very interesting that Sam Vatnin claims that he is a self-aware narcissist, yet he recently discarded Richard. It was a textbook attack following a narcissistic injury. Richard lost his Facebook page because of him. Samuel lied again, claimed that he was being attacked by Richard's followers. Lovely. Samuel still has his page because he needs to be the only expert in the field. I personally think that he planned it from the very beginning because he was threatened by Richard's popularity and envied him. Disgusting. This comment is from five years ago. You really have to wonder why Sam was even surprised. Like, how could he even be surprised? Here's another one by the same person. They took down Sam's page for a while 
simply because he's nasty to people. He keeps hurting and offending the vast majority of people who write him. Somebody shared an email where he calls the girl stupid and insults her. I bet it has nothing to do with Richard at all. It's all in his sick head. People hate him because he's mean to them. He just can't look at himself properly. And unfortunately, Richard is the scapegoat here. She follows up with, It's your own karma, Samuel, coming back for treating people like crap. There's a bunch of comments from five years ago. Seriously? This has gotten to the proportion where it's all over social media. That is so typical narcissists. I can carry on like Sam does. I made a video regarding social media. I made a video about narcissists and social media. And I can call people stupid or, you know, whores or whatever, or a barker, a country barker, harping about his books and his writings. It says at the bottom of this thread, written two weeks ago, why is this post dated? March 19th, 2017. And someone else commented, Old post. Big kids fell out. Pathetic. So they've been warring like this for years. For years. Richard paid for the filming. And Sam also posted those to his YouTube channel. In face of their ongoing personal arguments, their on and off, on and off friendship, you would think that the cerebro narcissist, if he didn't have blind spots as a narcissist, would have taken steps to mitigate what's happening right now. Sam Vagnon, always referring to women as stupid whores, um, codependents, uh, sluts, He hides or deletes my comments on his channel. He also does not... He also does not believe in empaths or super empaths, which is not an official term. Obviously, it's not in the DMS-5, since that's about mental disorders. And empaths are not a mental disorder because it is not a scientific term. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's the same as calling someone perceptive or saying that they are an INTJ personality type. It doesn't make it not real. But Sam wants to insult people that use that term and refer to them as whores, prostitutes. Sam uses the term cerebral narcissist often, and that isn't in the DMS-5. Just because he claims to be. That isn't in the DMS-5. So, 
how can Sam claim that I shouldn't be using the term empaths or that there's no such thing as super empaths? It's the same thing that he's doing with the term cerebral narcissist. He's using a term that isn't scientific. So my feeling on this is that the whole public dispute between Sam Vaknin and Richard Grannon, Sam is an egotist, is an egomaniac, a misogynist. I am an empath. And I've seen it my whole life. Nobody taught me what I know about empaths because it's intuitive as well as from experience. As an empath, I could possibly understand narcissists intuitively more than those that read about it in books. I might know it more than those that looked at graphs and did statistics on NPD. That's why my videos are so pictorial or so graphic. That's not something that I saw in books. That's not something that I've read about. So while the dispute between Richard Grannon and Sam Vaknin is about their personal relationship that spilled over onto YouTube. I've posted a link to my YouTube video regarding narcissists and social media. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.